Hey YouTube, it's me again. I don't know if I had mentioned this to you guys before, but I wanted to talk about it, and I wanted to talk about some of the interesting reactions I've gotten, um, and maybe even turn this into a thing. So, as a lot of you know, October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. It's one of the biggest, like, cancer big freaking deal awareness months ever. And um, I had been thinking, like, a couple of weeks ago about how much cancer has affected my family. Not just breast cancer, but all different kinds of cancer. It runs up one side of my family and down the other. <laughs> it's, you know, it's not a matter of if I'm going to get cancer later in life. It's pretty much when. Like, it's happened to 85% of my family. So, I was thinking about that, and I was trying to think of a way that I could take all of these people I knew, family and non-family, like friends that feel like family, um, going through this fight with cancer and have something that would affect the, the kids I'm mentoring at the center. And I thought, oh, you know what would be cool? Having a Cancer Awareness Day. You know, because some of these kids don't even know what cancer is. Um, and they don't know why it's such a big deal. They just know that it's a big deal. So, you know, I got this whole event together and I was like, okay, how am I going to get these kids to show up to this event and actually be engaged and be interested in it. Well, if there's one thing that middle school age kids love, it's seeing their mentors or their teachers humiliating themselves um, in front of everybody. You know, you've got like dunk the teacher, you've got all kinds of different stuff like that. So I was like, I know, I'll shave my head. At the end of the event, I am planning on shaving my head completely bald. Well, I'm not going to do it. Other people are going to shave my head for me. I'm not going to Britney Spears this shit because <laughs> I don't trust myself. But um, the, my, my, friends and co my friends, family, and coworkers are going to aid in shaving my head for me, and I'm going to be completely bald, and that'll be that. You know, no more hair. <laughs> And I've gotten a lot of mixed reactions about this, and it's been really interesting. Some people are totally behind it. They're like, oh, my God, you know, this is such a beautiful thing you're doing. What a wonderful tribute to all of the people in your family who've lost their battle with cancer and people who are still fighting and all that great stuff. Totally behind it 100%. Other people are like, uh, aren't you nervous? Like, I actually got that question once. Someone asked me if I was nervous about shaving my head, and I was like, well... I mean, why would I be nervous? It's something that I've chosen to do, um, and I, you know, it's hair. Hair grows back. It's not like a tattoo. It's not permanent. I mean, you know, worst case scenario, I shave my head and I look horrible bald and I end up having to wear a wig for a few months to a year or whatever. But, I mean, it's, for me, it's worth that risk to raise awareness of these in this young age group about how bad cancer is and how much we need to support people who are going through this fight. So most people have given the reaction of, oh my god, I want to see this happen. Um, as far, I'm not sure if the event is open to the public or not. Um, it is going to be on a military base, so most people uh, won't be able to get on there without, you know, the fancy government IDs. But what I can do for you guys, um, you know, people are like, why don't you film it and put it on YouTube? And I can do that. The only thing is my middle schoolers can't be on camera because, you know, that, that's a whole nother can of worms. They're minors. You guys know how that works. They're going to need video releases signed by their parents, all that stuff. So what I'm going to try to do... Um, is make it so, like, I'm going to bring my phone and I'm going to give my phone to one of my friends and she's going to film me, just, just me getting my head shaved. You might hear some of the kids in the background, but it's not going to be uh, an issue of, like, privacy, I don't think. Um, so that way you guys, and we will immediately upload it to YouTube so you guys can see almost in real time me shaving my head. It's going to be a lot of fun. I'm really looking forward to it, to be honest with you, because I've got, like, mullet going on back here. I've got roots growing in, but there is no point in me re -dying it or touching it up or getting it trimmed, because it's all going to be gone soon anyway. So, <laughs> I'm, my hair is kind of driving me crazy right now, and to be honest, I cannot wait to be rid of it and to just have no hair to worry about at all. Um, I can't wait to see what it looks like. And I'm really excited. So, 
Now it's your turn. Have you guys ever done something crazy um, or something that people have criticized you for in the name of charity or in the name of awareness or in the name of a good cause? I mean, I've heard of all kinds of things that people do for causes they feel passionate about, like, you know, polar plunges, um, shaving your head for cancer, uh, like, cr all kinds of craziness, like, biking across the country. What kind of crazy things have you done or thought about doing for a good cause? Leave a comment in the box below. I promise I will read all of them. I don't think they have video responses anymore. Thanks, YouTube. But in the meantime, I'm going to go get ready to go karaoke with some friends. And meanwhile, I'm counting down the days until I can finally shave my head. So excited. Um, there will probably be more videos about this topic, but if you have any questions for me, please leave them in the book de do and I will uh, be sure to answer them, maybe even in a video. So, hope you guys are having a great weekend, and I'll see you in a few days. Bye!